Hey guys, this is Eric once again. I'm bringing you a brand new lightsaber to show off here. We have the uh, Corbanth Skinny Flex. And as you can see, it is pretty skinny. Um, it's one shiny little uh, <laughs> fingerprint magnet, and that's why I'm holding it on this knurled section, because man, it is a pain in the butt. And I hate wearing gloves, so. Uh, here is the hilt, and all its beautiful chrome glory. Um, the, the details on this are amazing, and it just, it's just super nice. It's probably uh, Master Replica's uh, limited edition type quality here. Uh, it's super happy with this. Uh, this was made in conglomeration with 89 Sabres. So this is a project that 89 Sabres and uh, Corbanth were part of and uh, it couldn't have turned out any better than this. This is probably one of Corbanth's best uh, hilt studies um, ever put out and that's that's uh, sincere because I've had most of his um, stuff and it does his uh, his, his sabers in the past have been fine uh, those were with uh, parks like uh, we remember but um, he's bumped up the quality and the uh, decreased the amounts of hilts produced to give you more of a of a more uh, more quality based saber and uh, still it's it's pretty pretty amazing so let's see uh, the the cool little things about this hilt so first of all uh, as we can see here sorry I'm trying to put this in frame and focus uh, we have the emitter section over here uh, with the uh, with this I like to call it the car wheel because that's what it looks like to me it looks like a car rim um, and that comes off just just screws off right there and then you have your your emitter section um, there was a little problem here with the chroming is from what uh, Corbin described that they put too much chrome on the inner diameter of this wheel so uh, they will be supplying uh, a, Peter will be supplying uh, new wheels that have no chrome that way the uh, 7 8 inch blades can fit in there and then you can see right there inside the emitter uh, lip here in the shroud there's the screws for the bunny ears and this just goes perfectly and as you can hear that I don't know if you heard that the threading is just smooth as silk um, threads all around are perfect uh, it'll unthread here and it'll it does unthread down here just like a standard um, the old 2.0s so um, and that's how that's how it goes you have your threading there it comes up comes apart in two pieces so awesome future crystal reveal chassis um, that I look forward to seeing maybe even picking one up but for now and it goes together really nicely and you just align that. It's a lot of turning, but you can just align it perfectly there. Okay, so um, what else? Uh, the here in the button area, this button comes off, and it's your tactile switch underneath here, and this is just like the uh, Graphlex ones. Um, but more like what from Peter supplies than how Parks had it. And down in here, you can uh, send the uh, wires for the activation bu button if you so desire to use. Um, down here, you have the this gold glass eye, I guess is what you, you can call it nowadays. Um, I really don't know, but this can also be used as a tactile ignition, auxiliary, whatever. Um, so that's there. Um, this little screw is your blade retention screw. Um, your graphics pins here, these are, these don't have to be 
uh, removed once you uh, put them in. They do come installed. Sometimes it'll come in a little bit too loose, so I recommend if you're going to tighten it, tighten it with some plastic pliers, like electrical pliers, because uh, there's no there's no edges. It's just a circle. So if you put, you might damage it if you use uh, regular metal pliers. So just an extra precaution there. Uh, otherwise, it's fine. Um, the knurling on the on the clamp is is beautiful. Very well done. The machining, you can even see the machining if you look really close in there when you have it. You can see the little machines edges a little bit on those little pyramid areas. Uh, the clamp does look like it's a more satin finish than the chrome, which is a good thing because it's screen accurate that way. Um, and you have your, uh, your uh, clamp card, which is very nicely done. It's metal as well. It's very thin. Um, you have this gold on off switch that actually does slide back and forth. Uh, one of the things he also f uh, forgot, Peter from 89 Sabres forgot to uh, include, which he will be uh, including in a later mailing, is a, a part, I guess, for the inside where this connects and makes this uh, actually move back and forth and stay in place. Otherwise, right now, what I have inside to hold this together and this is uh, this 3M black electrical putty. I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, it's just this putty that uh, just forms into place and it has a nice little ticky, a sticky tactile kind of feel. And it's not going to damage anything and it's pretty solid. It's not going to run into any kind of crevices. So that's just going to be holding that together for the time being. Uh, the grips. The grips are rubber, very well made. Uh, they feel great on the hand. Um, they have double-sided uh, 3M tape, I believe, and it's very thin. There's no elevation here. Uh, the the double-sided tape has always been notorious for causing a little bit of an elevation on the grips, and some people don't like that. But here, it almost seemed like the grips were uh, were almost like notched a little bit inward so that that tape can uh, fit inside the grip instead of on the surface. So it gives you a nice little smooth uh, contoured edge there. So that's kind of nice. That's really nice actually. Um, so we took this apart down here and then you have your, your pommel section down there which is nicely, nicely done. See if I can focus that. Well, it's a uh, nicely machined, very accurate, and this part also comes off. Anytime now. Just don't want to drop it on the floor. Okay, there you go. And as you can hear again, the the uh, the threads are so nicely done. It's just smooth as silk, opening and closing all the threads on this hilt. And um, inside here, you have more space. I'm assuming you can put in a uh, 28 millimeter base speaker easily in there. Um, so yeah, we'll close that up. And although the machining of these uh, threads is all nice and, and dandy, uh, I do recommend putting some type of lubrication on there, just, just so that you don't want to prevent something. You want to prevent uh, seizing of the metal components. I like to use uh, it's a silicone based oil. It's like a fast dry oil that uh, adheres to the metal and uh, it gives it a nice little lubrication that lasts for a long time. Okay, so um, here's, so there's, that's it guys. That's the lightsaber. Uh, it did not come with the uh, blade plug. Um, I don't know if Corbantz is going to be supplying that um, or not, or but if not, it's just a standard Graflex plug, or I'm sure somebody in the community will come up with something more uh, screen accurate. There you go. So yeah, very happy with the hilt, and uh, very heavy, very heavy. Chrome is impeccable, 
Um, just like all of Peter's uh, lightsaber hilts, his customer service has always been questionable, but his 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 products are top notch quality. Uh, this is probably it's it's just on the same page as his uh, Sid and his other lightsabers that he's done. So um, so yeah, guys, really happy with this thing. Um, and I believe he has the Anakin Attack of the Clones one, the skinny, fl uh, not the skinny flex, the like the the Attack of the Clones one, and uh, something else, Obi Wan Kenobi Revenge of the Sith uh, Episode Three hilt. So those are the ones uh, that he has in con conjunction with uh, eighty nine sabers that I know of. Um, but yeah, guys, really really impressive. Uh, it's it's pretty thin. Uh, remember, um, I know you guys might have uh, different opinions on on it being the term the skinny flex. Uh, once you get it in, in 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 your hands, it's not that skinny. If you have if you're used to uh, having like the um, or like the one replicas uh, stunt sabers and the um, and even the Tuscan Slayer. Those are super thin uh, hilts. This is just called the Skinny Flex because it's just slightly skinnier than the Graph Flex, but it's uh, it's still a lot thinner. Has a nice uh, streamlined look, and again, awesome quality. Super stoked, super happy with it, and uh, yeah, just wanted to show it off. Okay, guys, thanks uh, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.